this video, I'm going to show you how I turn my boring looking App Store screenshots from this to this. Looks a lot better, has a lot more details. So if you're like me, stuck with low conversion rate for your apps on the App Store, I'll show you how to quickly use Nano Banana to improve your screenshots. Before we start, I was just checking my stats the other day for my app and I asked ChatGPT, what's the problem? How can I increase my revenue? And the thing that it pointed out was that my conversion rate was super low. I only had a 0.1% conversion rate. And I asked ChatGPT how to fix it. I need a better description. And most importantly, I need better screenshots, but I hate making screenshots. So I tried out Nano Banana. And I didn't use it before because with AI generated images, the text would always look funky and it didn't really work, but now it actually works. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. But before you even make the screenshots, you have to get the fundamentals, right? Number one, what are the actual selling points of your product? How do you come up with a better description and then use that description to generate the copywriting for each screenshot, because you can only fit in a few words on each screen. And then finally, using AI to generate the prompt for Nano Banana. I'll show you the prompts. And after you generate it, you need to do a little bit of cleanup. I'll show you how to do that with Canva, and then you can upload it to the App Store. Okay, first thing you need to do is to tell AI what your app is about. If your app is already on the App Store, provide a link. If not, just describe how your app works. And the prompt I'm gonna use because I already have the app on the App Store is rewrite my App Store listing for maximum conversion. And then I'm just going to include the link and say, this is my app. And I'm using ChatGPT here, but you can use Claude, Gemini, any AI LLM that you're using. And you can see it's taken my description and improved it. Great. If you haven't even written the description yet and you're just in the coding phase, you can just go into your AI editor, tell it to read the code. And then based on what you've programmed so far, you can ask it to generate an app store description for you. And then the second step is now that AI understands what your app does, turn this into screenshots with the key messaging. So give me high converting screenshot script based on my app. So let's put that in and then it will give you something like this screenshot one hero, export your health data in seconds, subheadline XML, CSV, JSON, the painkiller. So it will take the user on a journey of discovering more about your product. And so it's given me seven screenshot scripts and that's excellent. Now that you have the script, you can start generating the images inside Nano Banana. So the next prompt I'm gonna use is, can you help me generate a prompt for Google Nano Banana to generate the screenshots for Apple App Store for each screenshot? And I will provide a screenshot of the app for each. So it's got a universal prompt for every single screenshot. And then for each one, there's a sub headline. So let's move into Nano Banana and see how this works. Now that you have your prompts, the next thing you want to do is go to gemini.google.com. And here you'll see that I can create an image. Click create image. I come to ChatGPT. I copy this universal prompt, put it in there, and then for each one, I need to copy this headline, subheadline, and then I need to attach a screenshot from my app. So I opened my simulator and I took a lot of screenshots and I like this one. So I'm just going to attach this one and I'm going to hit it. I'm going to enter and see what it comes back. And now it's come back with this pretty darn good looking screenshot with much better copywriting that sells a feature of my app. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do the second screenshot. I'll attach another screenshot and let's do this one. Upload and let's see what it comes back with. And this is what we get, looks pretty good. Now, if this is too generic for you, you can prompt your Nano Banana to give you even more detail for your Nano Banana screenshots. So you can see you have the universal prompt here, but in each individual screenshot, it will add things like a soft blue teal gradient, a frame, small badge in a corner, soft shadow. And then this will make each screenshot even better. So let me show you. I'm coming back here to see my stuff and let's look at some of my previous screenshots. And you'll see this one says, add shadows, gradients, floating icon, row beneath the headline. 
So it can even highlight certain things in your app. You can stuff like this with arrows and a circle and highlight certain bits of your screenshot. All this is done with AI. So you can play around the prompts to generate a better prompt for your Nano Banana. So now, so now that you have the screenshot, you can just download it. But there's one small detail. You can see Gemini includes a watermark in each of their screenshots and you don't want that. So how do you remove this? It's really simple. You first download the image, then you go to Canva and then you import the images that you've created. And let's say I upload one of my previous screenshots. I put it here, I scale it and you can clearly see the Gemini watermark. How do I remove it? Really simple. I click edit. I come to magic eraser on the left. I click on this spot. I click erase. Voila, it's removed and then you re-download this and upload it to the App Store. So in the very end, you should have amazing screenshots like this with all these cool elements in it that will help you increase your conversion rate for your app. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about AI, please join my AI community in the description. And finally, if you want to learn more about vibe coding on how to create mobile apps to make some money, Join my vibe coding course in the description. See you inside.